Hey everyone, welcome to my third installment in my partnership with Walmart. That means this is a sponsored video, just want that to be very clear. I already did one video in early June talking about some beauty favorites from Walmart, like cosmetics specifically. And then my last one was hair care and hair products. And then today it's about skin care, sun care, self tanning, body stuff, all the other stuff. So what I did was I walked around my bathroom and my beauty area and I started pulling everything that I have recently picked up from Walmart and just everything that's in my everyday rotation that is from Walmart and I filled a giant bag. Until I gathered it all up in one spot, I, was, I didn't realize how much. Some of these are fairly new that I've been testing in the last month, month and a half, but a lot of these are old favorites and one is a really old favorite that's rediscovered. There's a lot to share with you, so I'm just gonna kinda rapid fire go through with it, and if there's something you wanna know more about, please mention it in the comments below. The first item was actually in my empties, it's waiting for another video. This is the Soft Soap Luminous Oils um, Body Wash, yes, macadamia oil and peony scent. It is delicious, it is divine, it's floral without being overpoweringly sweet and cloying. I loved it. I just raced through this. There's another one already in my shower. It's fabulous. Speaking of showers, this is key to preserving your fake tan. I use this every time I shower, if I have fake tanner on, and it's the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. Here is my insider tip coming from a light, light, light skinned girl. I don't care what shade you are in real life, you want medium to tan on any kind of fake tan product. The fair to light option will turn you orange. This will turn you actually tan, tan-ish, tanner. I mean, there's a limit to how much darker I can get, but anyway, this is what I use every time I shower. It works great. There's a new version that has a firming property in it as well, so you can tan and shrink yourself at the same time. No, you can't shrink yourself, but you know what I mean, it's great. Still in the shower, okay, there is a body oil, shower oil that I've been using for years. I was in Walmart shopping anyway. Oh, and I forgot to bring this with me, but there is a Walmart brand um, razor that is fabulous. I've switched over to that, love it. Anyway, I was in the shaving section. I saw this. I used to use the EOS brand all the time. Didn't really love the pump that it came in. I saw this, I'm like, this is exactly what I need. It's the EOS shave cream and what i like is it's the sensitive option my skin is weird it reacts to everything and anything and unpredictably so i never know what's going to set it off it has aloe wild oat lavender butter no added fragrance which sometimes can be an issue and i can squeeze out exactly how much i need i love this i've spoken at length about how much i love the neutrogena hydro boost line their makeup and the actual skincare. This is the body gel cream. I moisturize a lot more. I shower, you know, maybe two times a day when it gets super, super hot if I've been outside. So I need to moisturize more and I don't want to feel sticky. And I usually, because I'm showering in the middle of the day, need to get dressed right away as well. This will moisturize you, absorb quickly, but you won't feel sticky. It's just, it's fabulous. If I have used this in the morning, then I'll use this at night. You can slide right into your jammies, or right into your sheets. You won't stick, but you'll feel really moisturized. And I'm not just fair skinned, I'm also dry skinned. So I have a lot of experience with that. Since we're talking about Neutrogena and their Hydro Boost line, let's talk about the hand cream that goes with it. Again, in fact, my hands are a little dry. Um, a lot of hand washing. It has hyaluronic acid in it. There's really just a fresh, clean, almost powdery scent to this. It's not overpowering. You kind of have to stick your nose up close to smell it. And it absorbs so quickly into the hands without leaving them feeling like sweaty. You know, that horrible wet palm feeling you can sometimes get, especially in the summer. And it's a nice, good size. I really like this. And the last Neutrogena Hydro Boost product I want to talk about, and we'll talk about some more sunscreen in a little bit, but their Hydro Boost what is the official name? Water Gel Lotion Sunscreen. It is an SPF 50. The one thing my skin really does not react well to is a lot of sunscreens for the face. For the body, I can put on anything, but my face, I've had some major issues. It's always a struggle to find something that doesn't break out my skin. And I have been using this along with um, another one that I'm gonna talk about in a minute, and I've had zero issues, thank goodness. Neutrogena products, it's one of those brands that I know 
every product I've used from their line, I've never had a bad reaction. So that's a good thing to know. This is all fake tan, so it's clearly working. <laughs> Speaking of fake tan, I have quite a few options to walk you through, and yes, I have been playing with all of them. So I'm gonna start with what is on my face and a brand I've been using for a very long time that until recently I was not aware you could get at Walmart. You have to order it online. If you walk into the store looking for it, you're not gonna find it. So these are online only items. The San Tropez line. This is what I use on my face for the initial application. It's just the classic San Tropez bronzing mousse. I don't do anything special. I don't mix it with lotion. It's when I'm doing my whole body tanning, I just get a mitt and I just go all over every nook and cranny and stop right about here, just under my jawline, because the rest is gonna be a different color. So for that, we have several options. Sticking with Saint Tropez, there is the dark, self tan dark bronzing mousse. I like the mousse options the best. And then there's also the express version. So you can leave it on for one to three hours, depending on how dark you wanna get, and then wash it off and go on with your day. And this is great when you're in a time crunch, but I also apply this at night and just sleep with it. Now, new to me, and I really enjoy this, but I feel like you have to do this maybe two days, maybe even three days in a row to build the color. But if you wanna use this to just maintain every like third or fourth day, this is so easy to use and the scent is so nice. It's from L'Oreal and it's their Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Water Mousse. Um, I have it in the medium shade and it has coconut water and vitamin E and it's 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 just a very pleasant self tanning experience. It didn't streak on me. It didn't make me feel sticky. Um, it comes in this pump. It comes out in a mousse. The scent is really nice. I mean, you know, you, you usually think of a self tanner as something that's just going to smell like burnt cookies, but this smells fabulous. Um, I do feel like it needs to be built up. Um, but if you're already, you know, coming off of a full dark self tan application, I think this is a great way to just kind of top it off and keep it going even longer. And then this last one, I'm smiling because I first reviewed this in 2010 or 2011. It's been a really long time. And then like, as all things happen in YouTube, you move on to the next thing and you're trying, you know, whatever has come out that's new. And when I saw this, I'm like, you know, we gotta give this another try. So this is the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion Deep Dark Color. So here's my only complaint, and a lot of self tanners are doing this now and I don't get it. The original version came out with a tan color, so you like a guide, so you knew where you were applying it. This one is just a white lotion. So you have to kind of keep reminding yourself where you've already put this. Saying that, however, I found that this did not streak. I couldn't over apply it. It was so easy to use. And out of all the products I just showed you, this definitely got me the darkest. So if the end result is you want the easiest one to work with and you want the darkest color, this is probably my favorite out of the bunch, but I will say that it does have that traditional self tanner scent. I don't really care because it's fleeting. It's not unpleasant and I want to be tan. If I want to smell good, I will reach for a body lotion that has a scent. Then there are the days where I just can't be bothered with fake tanning and I need to do something quick to cover up my pasty white limbs. Y'all remember this oldie but goodie? This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs and they have a new shade called Fairest, like really, really light. And then there's a light fair, which is probably what I would reach for now because I have a pretty decent fake tan going on right now. I love that it's not in the spray. The spray is messy, it gets everywhere. This is a nice lotion. I recommend going to the pharmacy section at Walmart, picking yourself up a pack of latex gloves to use when you apply this, because it's a little bit messy. How I like to apply it is I do about a half pump of my Neutrogena. That's just a nice clear gel with a good squeeze of this stuff, mix it up in my hands and then just start applying. Because this absorbs really quickly, it, the whole thing just goes into your skin much more evenly, smoothly, and it absorbs and dries down really, really fast. And then one more thing to kind of make you look, I don't know, a little JLo at night. It's the Sally Hansen Illuminator. I love this. It comes in a few uh, shades. I have it in Nude Glow. And it's, it's this airbrush legs, but really I have put it on my collarbone. I put it on my arms, definitely down the middle of my leg. It's a roller ball, like a, like an old school antiperspirant. And you, I'm not, you roll it down your arm, you're down the 
front of your leg, kind of blend it in and it's, here, I'll swatch it for you. See the gleam? There you go. It's like highlighter for your body. It's pretty neat. Anyway, you gotta let it dry for a second. And you know, I would, for sure, blend it in a little bit. And it has a little tiny bit of, you know, it's not completely clear. So a nice little golden nude glow, if you will. If you wanna fake like a pantyhose look, the most amazing one-two punch, these two together. Since we're just coming off faking a suntan, let's talk about a couple more ways to avoid actual sun damage. So another product that I've been using, just the, I think I used to use this, came back to, I can't remember. It's a, it's a brand that I trust and come back to all the time. It's from CeraVe. It's their hydrating sunscreen, SPF 50. Um, it's mineral sunscreen. I definitely figured out that the chemical sunscreens are not something my skin particularly likes, and I guess the environment doesn't either, so it's a win-win for me and planet Earth. Um, this also has ceramides and niacinamide in it, so there's some really skin-healthy ingredients as well as SPF 50, so you don't get any sun damage. I know there are all kinds of ways to analyze the efficacy of sunscreen and whether one is more effective than the other. There's only two things I'm personally looking for in a sunscreen. One, do I get sunburned in it or not? And two, does it break me out? Because I don't care how great it is, how effective it is at blocking sun, blocking UV rays, if it breaks me out, I'm not gonna use it. So this ticks all those boxes for me, works great. And then this one that you've been seeing everybody talking about for a good reason. This is SPF 30, I think it also comes in a 50. It's from Bear Republic, it's mineral sunscreen spray. I got it in the Pina Coco scent. I don't really smell much of a scent of anything when I put this on, let me try it again. It's very, I, I don't really smell anything. So I can't say that it smells like anything really. It's quite pleasant. As you can see, it doesn't leave you shiny. It's instantly dry. I did not have to rub that in. It's so easy to work with. It's so easy to apply. I'm taking the dogs for a walk. I'm going to the dog park. I'm going to a farmer's market. Spray it. I'm on my way. I, it's so user-friendly, you're gonna wanna use it. It's very effective, it's very user-friendly, it's all minerals. So they also make one for the face, haven't tried that one yet. So speaking of the face, there's some face products we need to talk about. One I've been using since January, um, I kinda eased my way into it, now I use it every single night. You've heard about it before, it's Differin Gel. It's over the counter now, you don't need a prescription. Uh, the generic name would be Adapalene Gel, it's 0.1%, this is a Cousin to Retin-A, it's in that same vitamin A family. It's intended for acne treatment. There are some newer studies coming out that it is similar to Retin-A and that it helps with wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. I can tell you that since using this regularly, I break out far, far less. And when I do, it heals very quickly. So I can definitely see a difference. And my skin has tolerated this very, very well. I've had no peeling, no burning, no itching, nothing. So it's very gentle, very easy to use, quite effective. I have changed up my morning cleanser. I haven't completely gutted my skin routine, and if you're interested in more of those things, definitely read my blog post. I'll link that below. But um, like I said, I've been dealing with acne, which is ridiculous at my age, but whatever. And Dr. Dre here on YouTube has recommended this cleanser before, so I thought, why not? Again, from CeraVe, a brand I've used before in the past, I've had no issues with. This is their Renewing SA Cleanser. It does have salicylic acid in it, but it is a non-drying formula. Unlike other face washes that are targeted for acne fighting, this one hasn't dried me out. I use this every single morning without fail. And I like that the pump, you can twist it to put in a lock position so I can bring this with me when I travel and it's not gonna get all over my suitcase. And then the last face product that I've somewhat recently added to my routine, it's been about two months now, Again, from Neutrogena, you've heard me talk a lot if you've watched my channel for a while about the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream. That is a mouthful. And I loved it and used it for a long time and then tried other products. My personal area of concern on my face is hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone. And I forgot that Neutrogena makes a tone correcting line and specifically the Rapid Tone Repair. This is the Rapid Tone Repair Dark Spot Corrector I use this every morning. It does have retinol in it, so I don't use it at the same time as I use the Differin. Differin's at night, the Neutrogena's in the morning. I believe there's vitamin C in here as well, I believe, could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain. I like the pump. It's very stable, again, easy to travel with, and this is what I've been using every morning, and in combination, my skin was looking great when it was just adding this to my routine. Once I threw this in, 
A lot of you have noticed, oh, your skin's looking better, your, your, your tone is looking better, you look glowing. It's got to be these two combined. So not at the same time, morning, night, but I love them. And then the last favorite I need to mention, it's kind of random, but we're talking about summertime and it goes on your body and it's kind of key in making sure that you and everyone around you enjoys themselves. It's antiperspirant and deodorant. And I have, I mean, look how well loved this thing is. The label's wearing off. It's the Mitchum. Well, gosh, I don't even know what the whole name of it is, but it's their 48 hour protection, shower fresh, invisible solid antiperspirant and deodorant. I know that this deodorant is all the rage so it, you don't stink, but I personally don't like to be soaking wet either. So I'm sticking with antiperspirant. This is the best one, hands down. I wish I could just cover my body in this when I have to go outside, but that's not feasible. If you haven't tried the Mitchum antiperspirant and deodorant, Give it a try, let me know what you think. It's great. So those are my current skincare, sun care, self-tan kind of favorites and old favorites and reliables that are all available at Walmart, in-store and online. Couple online only purchases. I will put an asterisk next to those. I don't want you racing off to the store trying to find it and getting frustrated. But I do wanna thank Walmart. This has been a really fun series to make. I hope that you have enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some of it with me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.